one. Is he avoiding me? Uh, I want to answer it right at the top, but I'll try to wait and answer that question. Um, This is Tony Henderson Mayers, television, radio, relationship expert, author, and entrepreneur known as Wise Courtship all over social media because of my book with a three-step system. It will help you determine the true character and the true intent of your love interest. Wise Courtship is not just a book. It's wisdom, guidance. It's what I call the Wise Courtship philosophy. So anytime you see me on television, hear me on the radio, watch me on stage, or even get my book, you just subscribe to the Wise Courtship Philosophy, and all the philosophy is is uh, individuals who are committed to having whole relationships in their romances, their families, their friendship, and even in their businesses. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me on all of the podcast platforms. Thank you so much for that, and especially to Spotify, where you can see me and hear me. So rush over there so you can see what I look like. Uh -huh. I don't think you'll be disappointed. <laughs> but anyway, um, you also can see snippets of this on YouTube. Okay. So if you can't get over to Spotify, go to bit.ly forward slash Tony Tube, the T-O-N-I-T-U-B-E, both the T's are capitalized. The rest is lowercase. Okay. And um, you can see snippets. I can't, guarantee what snippet you're going to see, but you see something. All right. And also I have some new and other things on YouTube too, as well, you know, cause you know, I act and you know, um, I own businesses and, um, publishing companies and all that kind of stuff. And you get a chance to, you know, see some other stuff that's going on on my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. So check that out. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for following me. Thank you so much for following me on Instagram, um, Facebook, Twitter as at Wise Courtship. Thank you so much for doing that. And thank you for tuning in to this. You guys are amazing. And at the end of every broadcast too, I put the Wise Courtship store up. Make sure you go ahead and get you some Wise Courtship gear so you can represent, all right? And when I get out of this doggone pandemic and I start speaking on the stage again, I want to look out and see you got a Wise Courtship shirt on or a cap or a hat or a bib or something, okay? I need for you to represent because we all about whole relationships up in here, all right? <laughs> All right, darling, we're going to get into another love letter. All right, we're going to get into another love letter. And today we're going to talk about, is my boyfriend avoiding me? And let me say, men, why don't y'all send in some of your love letters or your relationship questions? Okay, don't let all these women send it and make it look like y'all all jacked up. Okay, you go ahead and send you something in as well. You can send it to info, I-N-F-O, at wisecourtship.com. Email me your relationship questions and I will read them here on the air. Um, if you're watching me on Spotify, um, if the letter's particularly longer, I usually um, copy and paste it on a document and then I bring it up here so you can see it as I read it. And today is no different, okay? That's what I'm going to do on today. But make sure you email me those relationship questions at info, I-N-F-O at wisecourtship.com. That's I-N-F-O, W-I-S-E-C-O-U-R-T-S-H-I-P.com. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get this letter up, honey. Let's see if her man is avoiding her chair. Let's see, it says, oh, I didn't share with y'all. Let me, oh, I'm about to read it and I didn't even share it. Oh my gosh. Here we go. I should have made it bigger, right? I'm just showing all my, um, all my personal stuff on my, my, my page. But anyway, here we go. I have been dating my boyfriend for a while and we are about to hit a month, hit a month on August. Okay, this is older letter because... It ain't August, ain't even a month from here, child. Hmm. Oh, maybe it is. 
No. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I personally think he's avoiding me and I don't know why I told my sister about it. And she told me that all the signs were there and that he was in fact avoiding me. The thing is that he does text me saying good morning and I love you to me, but I reply back to him and he just takes too long to respond or I, or just doesn't open it till he wants to. I text him and his cousin and he doesn't reply to me. So I asked his cousin if he is busy and his cousin tells me that he is not busy and that he just texts her. I thought to myself that his cousin was probably lying. I was wrong. The same thing happened, but that time he was texting my own brother and I had texted him after my brother had sent him a message and turns out that he answers my brother but he doesn't answer me. I have tried to fix things with him and talked about it with him, but he either changes the subject or tells me that he is busy, but that he still tries to text me anyways. I need some advice because I am out of ideas and I just don't want to do or fix how do or how to fix things. I really want this relationship to work because he is a really nice guy. And he is very respectful. Lord, my alarm went off in the middle of the broadcast, Jim. We just started dating. And if if I did break up with him, I don't want to hurt him or make him think that I was just using him as a rebound, even though I haven't dated anyone in a year. Please help me out. I really want this relationship to work out and eventually get somewhere. Oh, child. Hmm. Y'all know what I'm thinking, right? <laughs> Y'all know what I'm thinking. Let us pray. <laughs> Let us pray, honey. I just, I don't even know where to start. Okay. For those of you who are watching me for the first time, I'm the author of Wise Courtship. And uh, you need to get that book. Okay. Right there on Amazon or go to wisecourtship.com, Barnes and Noble. Heck, you can run into any bookstore and just tell them that if they don't have it, tell them to order Wise Courtship by Tony Henderson Mayers and just wait till they send it to you, honey, and read it from cover to cover. Please, in the name of Jesus, read the book. Hey, y'all. I didn't say hello to my audience. Good to see y'all. I mean, I'm just so grateful. Y'all are watching me all around the world. I mean, Nigeria. Africa, the continent, y'all in the house, okay? Got Nigeria, Bougia, we got a whole bunch of people just all over the place watching. What's up, Liberia? You know I got friends out there. Why y'all not listening? Somebody call Liberia and tell them Tony on here, okay? You know the United States is representing Canada, Turkey. I mean, it's so many, Italy, so many of y'all watching. And my millennial babies, y'all still the number one group, okay? Y'all keep representing and tell your friends to listen to Miss Tony and follow her at at Wise Courtship on all social media platforms. Okay, let's get into this letter. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I'm ready. All right, so she's been dating this boyfriend for a while, okay? And she says it's about to hit a month. Okay, so evidently this is an old letter. Why y'all give me this old one, honey? She might've been watching and listening. (laughs) And I'm just not reading this. Sorry, child. She probably broke up already. But anyway, she said about the end of a month. Okay, you having all this trouble and it's just now getting to a month. Like, I, I just don't understand. Y'all listen to my last episode. I don't understand. I talked about this, you know, having boyfriends and, and y'all just giving them husband privileges or having girlfriends and giving them wife privileges. And y'all just, just stick it in there and I'm going to work it out and we're going to work it out together. And they are boyfriend, honey. And this one, is he avoiding me? Uh, I want to answer it right at the top, but I, I'll try to wait and answer that question. Um, and, and I'm not laughing, okay, at you. I'm just, I'm just... I'm just praying. Okay, (laughs) I'm back. (laughs) I'm back. Okay, so you said um, your sister advised you. You know what? I I think it was even in the other broadcast where uh, a person in the family told them something and they thought they was lying. I'm, yeah, I'm going to get to that. I'm, you know what? I ain't going to say that because I'm going to get to that later. Let me see if I got that down here. Okay. 
Yeah, I, I'm gonna talk about that second. But I, I want to say this: family members have value, y'all. If they, if they, a family member who's proven that they love you and they're there in your corner, they don't have to agree with everything you're saying. Let's get out of this thought that they are only my friend and my family if they agree with everything I'm saying. If they don't, they hate us. Stop, okay? Because a real good friend ain't gonna let you go out there with that old tight dress on and you got them dimples and pimples all in your dress and you looking a hot mess, okay? Your enemies will let you walk out there like that and they'll be laughing at you, but your girl is not gonna let you go out like that. Your boy is not gonna let you go out like that, looking all crazy with them five colors on, okay? None of them matching. Okay, so we have to realize that just because we don't always agree with you don't mean that we're not your way. Look, I'm in your life and I'm gonna tell you like a T.I. is, all right? And if you're wrong, I'm gonna tell you you're wrong. And if you're right, I'm gonna tell you right. I'm in your corner. I'm with you through thick and thin, but I ain't gotta agree with everything you're saying. I'm not no robot, okay? I ain't no yes woman, all right? And so I have to tell you the truth. And so let's not get it into our minds that when people tell us the truth, oh, they don't know what they talking about. This your sister right here. And your sister said all the signs are there that he is avoiding you. Unless your sister has proven that she's some idiot, that she's, you know, she's a hater and she's been, you know, backstabbing you and doing all this kind of stuff. If she showed you that, I get you don't, um, you don't listen to her. But if she's been showing you nothing but love, she's been with you through thick and through thin. She don't have to always agree with you. If she's telling you something that's the truth, you need to hurry up and believe that. Okay, let me go to the next point, y'all. Y'all ain't y'all listening? Y'all need to email me and let me know y'all listening, honey. Okay, because this stuff right here. All right, so now she says, okay, um, the thing is that he does text me to say good morning, I love you, but I reply back to him and he just takes too long to respond or he doesn't open it till he wants to. Okay, um. Oh, wait a minute. I had something up here too. Your cousin told you the truth, but you didn't believe him. You, he, I think that's what we're getting up to right here. It says, I text him and his cousin said he doesn't reply to me. So I just asked the cousin if he's busy. And the cousin says he's not busy because he just texted her. I thought to myself that the, his cousin was probably lying. I was wrong. Why everybody got to be lying to you? Like, why are they lying? Like, you have to sit down and figure that out. Like, what would be the purpose of them lying? What are they getting out of it by lying? Sometimes when you ask that question, you come up, oh, yeah, they are lying because, see, they want to go out with him and they want this. And But but a lot of times, what are you getting out of it? What, what is she getting out of it by lying? And you have to find out for yourself that the person is not lying, okay? You need, we, you, they're here, we need to be better at our researching skills, at our listening skills, at our, as, at, with our observation skills. We've got to, we got to work on that, okay? And this is, this is a lesson for us all, honey, including me, to remind me they don't let this love stuff get all swivelly divvly that you don't understand. You can't, you can't open your eyes and see what's right in front of you. Okay. You don't know what's going on. Okay. But, but you, you still proceeded to, you know, to, to try to flesh this out and I, and I give it to you. Okay. So let's go to the next thing. Um, so she is probably lying. Where does, where's that at? Okay. I was wrong. The same thing happened, but this time it was the whole thing with the brother. Remember where she, you know, he texts the brother and then she turned around and texts right back, but he answers the brother, but he won't answer her. Wow. Somebody say, wow. Wow. That, that right there is a little deep. It's like, what is the problem, dude? And let me just say, let me just say, if you like the other person, you're very immature. This is some immature stuff right here. Like you can't call the person and say, okay, you know, it was nice. But, um, and I would say it nicer than this, but I mean, if you don't, hey, you don't, it was nice, but I want to move on. It's over. But thank you. Like this is what mature people do. I want to move on. It's, it's your choice to move on. It's your choice to, you know, get with somebody else. But all this lying and hiding and I'm not, I ain't going to text you back. And 
what is that all about? Like, that's so immature. Please tell me these people are teenagers, please. Because if you're like in your 30s or something like that, a couple of people need to be smacked. Yeah, smacked. Okay. <laughs> if they're teenagers, okay, we can understand a little bit of the immaturity. But, uh, but you know, it'd be some, let me tell you something, millennials, it'd be some grown behind people, 40 something years old doing some stupid stuff like this. Okay. So if y'all are experiencing this, just cut it loose. Okay. You, you shouldn't have to turn into inspect the gadget in order to have a relationship with the person. Why are you having to do this? Let me see if you texting you and is he texting me, but he texting you, but he ain't texting me. Why he ain't texting me? He texting you let it go okay all right here we go so then you go through this whole thing with the brother and the texan and said i have tried to fix things with him and talk about it with him he either changes the subjects or tells me that he's busy but that he tries to text me anyways i don't know about the end part but i do know about the beginning part you don't want to talk you don't want to answer what's going on. It's, it's almost like, guys, you know, when you ask a woman what's wrong, nothing. And you know something wrong. That's some immature stuff. I just really, help me, Lord, help me. I really don't understand when you have an opportunity to tell the person, uh, I don't want to be with you because your breath stink. Um, I don't want to be bothered anymore. Um, it was really nice being with you, but I want to move on. Or I'm a dog. I want to sleep with everybody. I, you know, I just want to be free. You know, I want to open a new chapter in my life. Whatever, but speak, okay? <laughs> open your mouth and talk, child. I don't get it when you chasing somebody down and they don't. I'm looking up to the side because I got the letter over here to the side. I don't understand why we got to chase you because i know i wouldn't you know she good i wouldn't be chasing nothing all right you don't want to talk good you could say you could text good morning all you want honey you just be saying good morning to the air matter of fact i just may block you honey because i ain't got time for it i ain't got time to be chasing nobody around. but but i'm older I, I do realize that i'm older and i do realize that you know, when you're younger, you think you can't get nobody else. That's low self-esteem talking right there. I can't get nobody else. You sit up there looking like Halle Berry. I can't get nobody else. You know what? It's too many people in this world to deal with, to be dealing with all this stuff. You playing dog on text tag. It's ridiculous. Okay, let's let's just keep going because I'm like this. He won't talk, so he don't want to talk. Let him don't talk. Then move on. You know what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't even be going through this. And then you say, and then you say, um, I have tried to fix things with him. Okay, ding 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 ding. You cannot fix things. Okay, it cannot be fixed unless somebody wants to fix it. And some things you can't fix. Only they can fix themselves. And some things neither one of you can fix. Only God can fix it. Did you get that? If you want to fix something so bad, fix you. Oh, I done made somebody mad. Did they just turn off the Spotify? Oops. If you want to fix something, fix you. Leave, leave everybody alone. I don't be fixing everybody. I just fix myself. Just fix myself, yeah. Fix you. Let him fix himself. And some stuff, neither one of y'all can fix. Y'all, only God can fix it. Only God can fix it, which means you got to move out the way. Move, move, move. So God can fix it. I don't know how you're going to fix it, honey, because he's not even texting you back. So how are you going to fix it? I have tried to fix things with him and talk about it to him, but he either changes the subject or tells me he's busy. Okay, we'll take your little busy butt home. Don't take your busy butt on over there, but don't come back over here. You busy. You so busy. To take it right on over there then. Why are you chasing somebody down? Once they show a couple of times, I get it. Try it. One, two, three. Three strikes you out. Okay, time to go. All right, let's go. We, we almost done, y'all. 
Um, let's see. Uh, what else I want to say about that fixing? I really want this relationship to work because he's oh wait, we're gonna get back to that. I want to just say this. I think I said it in the beginning. You just started dating and you dealing with all this problems. It ain't it's you ain't even hit a month. And you dealing with all this stuff. Now, if you haven't left him by now, because evidently I got this letter late. If you have, if you have not left him by now, I know it's a hot mess. I could just predict it. Swami Tony can predict it. It's a hot mess right on my, right about now. If he's still talking to you, I don't even know how you make it to the eight months because he, he won't even talk to you. He won't text you. He won't talk to you. That sounds like to me, he don't want to be bothered. Okay. Here's the last of it. it says, we just started. Oh, wait a minute. Let me go back. I don't want to miss this. I need some advice because I'm out of ideas. You really trying to fix stuff. You, you done had a list of ideas, honey. <laughs> you done had a list. I'm going to try this. Mm, this. Oh, no, that ain't work. Let me try this. Ooh, that didn't work either. I mean, you, I mean, I'll just say this. We need to applaud you because you really tried. I'm going to give you that. All in this month, you really tried it, honey. You really tried. But I know what you probably did wrong. You need to talk to me privately. You need to get one of my coaching sessions. Go to wisecourtship.com and we can set up a coaching session. I can tell you exactly what you did without you even telling me. I can tell you what you just did that made him say, go the other way. I'm going to tell you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you say, um, hmm. Okay, I need some advice because I'm out of ideas and I just don't know what to do or how to fix things. Don't try to fix nothing. That's a boyfriend. That's not even your husband, okay? You need to pick right, choose right, and you will have less to fix when you get married, okay? Which are you going to find out? You can't fix it. You can't change a person. You can't change them. You can't do it. Many women have tried. Many men have tried. You can't do it, okay? Just let it go. Okay. We just started dating. Wow. Oh, wait a minute. I missed one. I really want this relationship to work because he is really nice guy and is respectful. Um, he may be a really nice guy, but he's not doing really nice things. And you usually are what you do, not what you say or what you appear to be. You usually are what you do so i don't know about him being a really nice guy and then you said it's really respectful he won't return your text i don't know how respectful that is when you try to discuss something that's important to you he changes the subject i don't know how respectful that is or or he uh what's the other thing he he um uh, or talk about or he changes the subject or he tells you that he's busy i don't think that's very respectful we just started dating and I'd already told you just started dating. And if I did break up with him, I don't want to hurt him. Now you don't want to hurt him, but he's certainly hurting you. I'm not saying you should hurt him, but I'm saying you're considering his feelings so carefully, but he's not considering yours at all. All right. And said, so I don't want to hurt him or make him think that I was just using him as a rebound, even though I haven't dated any one in a year. Please help me. I, I really want this relationship to work and eventually get somewhere. You want it to work, but he doesn't want it to work. And why are you worried about what he thinks? Why are you so worried about what he thinks about you? He's not thinking about you. You asked me, is he avoiding me? Yes, darling. He's avoiding you. Why he's avoiding you, you have yet to learn. You need to come to my coaching session, honey, and I can tell you probably why he's avoiding you. I can tell you why probably why he's avoiding you. But why are you so concerned about what he thinks when he can give a duly darn darn what you think? He don't care, okay? He does not care. Why is he? Oh, why if he care? Why would he? Why he text me? I think he's trying to stay connected with the butt. That's why he's texting you. Like he just want to make sure that if he wants to come back and jump in bed with you, that you will be there. But other than that, I really don't want to be bothered. I'm just gonna keep you on hold right here, just in case you know 
it don't work out with Susie Ann or um, uh, Carly, Carly McMahon, if it don't work with them too, then I'll come jumping in the bed with you. So I'll just say good morning and that's it. And I'm just so busy. And even if you say, oh, well, it's a legitimate busy. I know it's legitimate because he owns an empire and he's um he's a billionaire. He's got all these companies. Well, he ain't got time for you. Even if it's legit, you don't have time for you. Because if he was really into you, he would text you. He would call you. He would listen to your concerns. He would be there for you. And you only been with him for one month and you're dealing with all this drama, ma. All this drama you dealing with, and you've been with him for one month, and he's not even your husband. Child, girl, you better go. You better go. Okay, if you haven't gone already, <laughs> you better go. And I'm not just telling you, like, you know, people are like, oh, all men are dogs. No, I ain't calling him no dog, no nothing. I'm just saying he's not into you like that. You're going through all this drama and stuff, honey, and he's not even thinking about your tail. He texting your cousin, he texting your brother, but he ain't texting you. Okay. Well, I got to go. I got to go. I got to make some chicken. Okay. <laughs> I got to go, but I can be reached on the web at www.wisecourtship.com. I'm on social media just about everywhere. It's Wise Courtship or Tony Henderson Mayers. All you have to do is Google me. Just know that I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. This is Tony. Remember, I help you detect a lover worth living with. Bye. Are you subscribed to the Wise Courtship Philosophy? Then you need to get your Wise Courtship gear at the Wise Courtship store. Go to bit.ly forward slash Wise Courtship store. All the letters are lowercase. They make amazing gifts from children, adults, men and women, jewelry, hats, cell phone cases, t-shirts, and more. Represent Wise Courtship by going to bit.ly forward slash Wise Courtship Store.